And a pleasant good Friday morning. It's the 18th day of February. And yes, it's the last day of Aquarius. And tomorrow we head into Pisces. And a happy birthday going out to Andre Young, best known as Dr. Dre. And yes, he put on a hell of a performance at halftime during the Super Bowl. That has to be one of the best halftime performances ever. And yeah, member of NWA as well. Yeah, Dr. Dre, also happy birthday to actor John Travolta. Best known for his movies from the Look Who's Talking, Pulp Fiction, uh, Grease, Phenomenon. All other great movies too. And also a happy birthday going out to Vanna White. Of course, best known for her role in Wheel of Fortune and Sybil Shepherd and to Jamie Carroll. And a happy birthday to the heavenly birthday to Michael Abdomalik, who I knew in high school. Yeah, he was a freshman while I was a senior. And uh, also it's the NBA All-Star break. Yeah, much needed rest for the Lakers especially, who are currently in the ninth seed in the Western Conference, only ahead of Portland. So if the season were to end today, the Lakers would be playing the Portland Blazers in the play-in game, and the Clippers would play the Timberwolves as well for the 7-8 game. But meanwhile, you have the uh, Denver Nuggets, the Dallas Mavericks, the Utah Jazz, the Grizzlies, the Warriors, and the Suns that are currently in a playoff position. Meanwhile, the Bulls and Heat are tied for first place in the Eastern Conference at the break. And then you have uh, the Sixers, you have the surprising Cavaliers, the Celtics are on a roll. And you also have the Brooklyn Nets who are currently in the eighth seed right now. Oh, and the Milwaukee Bucks as well. Yeah, the Bucks are the fifth seed at the moment, but a lot can change in the second half. So those six teams are in the playoff position. Well, you have the Nets in there and the Wizards and the Raptors and the uh, Hawks that are all in the, in the play-in tournament. And we have the celebrity game tonight. Of course, tomorrow is All-Star Saturday night with the slam dunk contest, the three-point contest and the skills challenge. And then Sunday is the main event between Team LeBron and Team Durant led by coaches Eric Spolstra and Monty Williams, respectively, because both the Miami Heat and Phoenix Suns are leading their conferences at the moment. And yes, that means the uh, Miami Heat will have home court advantage throughout the Eastern Conference playoffs, and the Suns as well in the Western Conference playoffs, including the finals, should both teams make it. Should be interesting. And uh, the best the Lakers can do is go to the play-in tournament and try to win both play-in games to be the eighth seed. And they'll likely lose to Phoenix either in a sweep or in five games. But yeah, Anthony Davis is listed as, well, x-rays were negative, so he's gonna be out for at least a month because he'll be reevaluated by then. So we'll see if we'll still see him late in the year or shut him down. Yes, the Lakers are the oldest team in the NBA. And speaking of the Lakers, it was nine years ago today that Jerry Buss went to heaven. He was the best owner in all of professional sports. And uh, yeah, the Lakers have been growing, going through tough times since his passing. And during Jerry Buss's tenure as ownership, or the owner, the Lakers made the playoffs every year except twice and they've won 10 NBA championships. And since his passing, the Lakers have been in a free fall with the exception of 2020, when we won the championship in the bubble. But it's too bad we couldn't have a parade like the Rams did, but it's because, of, because back in 2020 when the Lakers and Dodgers won, people think it's an asterisk, but it, it really is, and we just couldn't have a large celebration because the cases were really high that time 
and we didn't have vaccines for everybody, but now we do, and cases have been declining. So, speaking of California, their mask mandate has been lifted for all outdoor areas at least, but the mask mandate is still in effect for LA County's indoor areas, but at least we're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, yes, it's gonna be mild today with temperatures in the low 70s. It's gonna be nice tomorrow, but next week it's gonna get cold again as February is officially the last month of meteorological winter. And before you know it, spring will be here, but there, there were talks yesterday between both sides. It was only 10 minutes long and we'll try to get a deal set by February 28th in order to have a full season. Otherwise it's gonna be a, sh a shorter season and Rob Manfred is the worst commissioner in all of professional sports history. Meanwhile, have a good rest of your Friday and I'll talk to you all later, amen.